T Squad, it's me, Keisha, and I'm here with a new episode of Spill the Tea, bitch. I haven't done one of these in quite some time, but I'm going to start back doing them weekly or bi-weekly on this platform because me editing, doing all that other shit that I used to do, I just don't have the time for it right now. I'm in the midst of writing a new book amongst all my other YouTube videos and shit, but I want to get give y'all some good piping hot tea. For over the weekend for y'all to sip on. So let's first talk about this Nicki Minaj uh, versus Remy Beef. Remy dropped a second diss track tonight called Another One. And Another One. <laughs> I listened to it. A lot of you all tagged me in it when it came out. And um, honestly, she should have kept it. <laughs> she should have kept it. She thought it was enough. This is a prime example of learn how to stop when you are ahead. It wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible. On a scale of A, B, C, D, F, G, <laughs> I give it a C plus. She has some cool punchlines with her, but I didn't like the flow of it. And I didn't like uh, the back-to-back -back beat I think she used. It just should have been kept. Sheetha was enough. Sheetha was that Mortal Kombat, get over here type shit. Just, she should have just left it the fuck alone. Um, but I understand she was still upset because T has been coming out that Nicki Minaj... Um, after Sheetha came out, was calling a lot of people, feeling some type of way. I know she called, she texted Charlemagne, told him he was fake. Funk Flex said he heard her make, uh, heard about her making phone calls. Uh, Fat Joe confirmed that. Um, a lot of people were just saying that how, you know, uh, Nicki Minaj was making a lot of phone calls when it came to Remy after Sheetha came out. And Remy confirmed tonight that she was trying to stop her money. Now, you doing way too much, girl. You trying to stop somebody check all because they wrote a diss track about you. You shouldn't have started it if you knew you weren't going to be able to finish. And it was confirmed that when she did the song with Gucci Mane, her record label was shopping the song as a Remy Ma diss track. So it was confirmed that she was coming after Remy. So if you didn't have the bars, bitch, to finish, you should just shut the fuck up. Um, But Remy just needs to stop at this point. You have killed her. It was one of the best rap this songs of all time just leave it at that girl and keep it moving keep on getting your money keep on getting your coins girl and i mean if she say something after this oh well it's already been confirmed that nikki is not going to uh rebuttal she's not going to say anything back so if she does decide to get froggy then remy attack <laughs> but other than that just leave it the fuck alone at this point um and others uh t news rick ross and india love are dating that girl is like, what, maybe 22 at this point? Maybe 22, 23? That nigga damn near 40, if not. I just don't know. This little girl that spread her pussy all over the hip-hop community. I don't understand why in the fuck this old-ass nigga's fucking with this little bitty-ass girl. I mean, we understand it because the girl got a body out this world. Um, they She's been very sexualized, and she sexualized herself. But him having a daughter that's damn near her age, it's disgusting. But that little girl didn't spread her pussy wide and far and, and long. I mean, she just gonna be wore out by the time this bitch is 30. But I guess, girl, hope you get something out of it. Get a, get a watch. Get a diamond. Get something. I mean, shit. Um, Disney um, aired their first same-sex kiss. Very happy about that. Finally. I don't know what took them so fucking long. I mean, come on now. But So kudos to Disney for that. Lady Gaga will be replacing Beyonce at Coachella. I'm um, glad I didn't get my ticket because I would have been very mad that Mother was not going to perform until next year. So I will be at Coachella next year watching Mother perform. But I would have been very... I'm, I'm a Lady Gaga fan, but I wouldn't have wanted to see her. If anything, I would have still went to Coachella to see Kendrick Lamar because that was going to be great. Kendrick and Beyonce on the same motherfucking platform. Oh my God, get your life. If you're, for those of you that don't know, Kendrick Moore is my baby daddy. We're going to get married. I don't give a fuck if he is married to his high school sweetheart. That is my boo. Um, so shout out to all you monsters that will be at Coachella watching Gaga perform. Lyra Galore had a sex tape leak tonight. That leak tonight. That is Rick Ross's ex-girlfriend. Another little baby bitch. Another little baby thought. Um, it was a sex tape of her sucking some nigga dick, some famous nigga dick. I don't know if it was an NBA player, basketball player, football player, but some nigga. She got on Twitter tonight and said, come on, guys, you act like you've never seen anybody sucking dick before. <sighs> Obviously, Ayala did not fix this young hoe's life. She still ain't got no goddamn sense. These hoes are just so lost and confused. Fix it, Jesus. 
Trey Songz um, had a sex tape leak earlier this week. It was a very short clip. I don't think the clip was no more than 13 seconds. I watched it. It was of him sticking his penis in some girl's ass, telling her to just, just chill. Just be quiet. I'm going to fuck every last hole you got. Just chill. Just be quiet. I'm going to stick this dick up in this. Just, just. Just be still, just be still. And I was like, well, all right. From what I saw, he was working with a little cute little something. But, um, and he was wearing a condom. I was so happy about that. Because there's been so many fucking leaked uh, sex tapes that I've seen with these niggas. And they ain't wearing no rubbers fucking these hoes. You can't tell me half these niggas in the industry ain't got the heel, the hive, itching, the STD, something. So I was happy to see at least he was using a condom going up in somebody dookie shoot. <laughs> Um, his new music has been really good too. I don't know if you've been watching this Tremaine the Playboy fake reality show thing that he has going on for his new record. But every last song he's dropped thus far has been good. His new album comes out, I believe, March 24th. Excited about that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all the tea I have on you all. Something short, something quick, something easy to digest. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to thumbs up this video and press the notification bell button if you have not. And please subscribe to my channel if you have not. Um, a new episode of All T All Shade Real Housewives of Atlanta will be up Sunday. I will be beat to death. Her will be slay. Get ready. I got a new hairstyle coming for y'all um this weekend. Um, so I'm excited about that. And Saturday, me and my kid are going to see Logan. I'm so excited about that because I'm a big Marvel fan, and this is his last. <laughs> Still playing Wolverine. It's been playing Wolverine for 17 years. I'm so excited about it. I will be doing a video review on Logan after we get done seeing it. I love you guys and I pray that you all have a blessed and safe weekend. Hugs and kisses. Bye.